In this lecture, I'll give you a demonstration of how the shape mark works in Tableau. So let's create a basic chart. Let's include um, state and let's include sales. And um, let's turn this into a bar chart. So as you can see, we can see the sales data for these different states. Um, a few options that you have right here is if you were to click on this drop down, but automatically the chart that Tableau will display initially would be a bar chart, but you can always change it to one of these different charts. So you have the option to turn it into a line chart, area chart, square, circle, shape, text, map, pie, Gantt bar, polygon, density, and so on. Each of these different charts should be used uh, depending on the type of data that you're working with. Currently, we're working with some of sales by state. So if we were to click on the line option, as you can see, it turned that bar chart into a line chart. But in this case, it doesn't really make sense since we're working with state and sales, and each of these states is a discrete field. If we were working with something like order date, then it would make a little bit more sense. So as we can see that sales increased from 2015 to 2018. So depending on the, the type of data that you're working with, um, use each of these different marks accordingly. One of the options that you have over here is the shape option. So if we were to click on shapes, what we're gonna notice is that it turned each of these different um, rows uh, the bar chart into a shape, a circle shape. We can customize these circles to sh be uh, another shape. So the way you do that is you're going to click on shape and you're going to notice that we have each of these different options. So you can turn this into a, a colored circle or you can click on more shapes and over here you have a whole lot of options. So you can go to bug tracking, turn it into a bug or you can turn it into weather, thin arrows, ratings, turn it into KPIs. Um, depending on the type of shape that makes best sense in your use case scenario, you're gonna make that selection. Um, once you click on apply, and we can from here increase the size of the shape. We can change the color of the shape. We can change the color of the shape within this right here. So we can select a different colored shape. So this is all black, this is arrows, and so on. Another cool thing that you can do over here is currently we're looking at uh, sales by state. If we were to drag uh, another dimension like region and were to drag it right on top of shapes, we're gonna notice that it will show us the sales for the east since the state east uh, New York is in the east coast. It will color it, uh, it will make it a circle, and all the southern states are now square. And from here, we can change the type of shape by going to the shape shape. Click on um, drop down uh, for the shape palette and we can customize the way the shape appears so if east coast we want it to be a light bulb and south should appear as a envelope we can select those different options we can click on apply and it will change the shape for you from here we can increase the size and we can make it entire view so depending on your use case, you use shapes to make it easier for the user to point out and find out what they're looking at. So this is how the shape mark works in Tableau.